A continuación presentamos el devocional diario por el pastor José Manuel Sierra y traducido al inglés. En español se emite de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias y queda grabado en nuestros canales de Facebook y YouTube. Debajo en la descripción de este vídeo encontrará el enlace para los devocionales en español. My dear brethren, good morning. Welcome to this devotional that today is going to be based on the second book of Chronicles, specifically chapter 13, as of verse 13 on. And the word of our good God says the following. But Jeroboam caused an ambush to go around behind them. So they were in front of Judah, and the ambush was behind them. And when Judah looked around, to their surprise, the battle line was at both front and rear, and they cried out to the Lord, and the priests sounded the trumpets. Then the men of Judah gave a shout, and as the men of Judah shouted, it happened that God struck Jeroboam and all Israel before Abijah and Judah. And the children of Israel fled before Judah, and God delivered them into their hand. We see here one more reference in the Bible, very clear how the country, how these 12 tribes of Israel were divided. Ten of them went to the north, forming the kingdom of Israel, and two of them, Benjamin and Judah, formed the southern kingdom or the kingdom of Judah. From time to time, unfortunately, they uh, fight each other. They were brothers uh, from the same father, but unfortunately, sin brought these divisions, these war-like uh, conflicts, and they repeated to fight each other where a lot of people were losing their lives. Now, in this occasion, the king of the North, Jeroboam decides to call uh, to fight the, the king of the south, which is uh, Abijah. In the middle of the battle, of this tremendous battle, where a lot of people were going to lose their life, the Bible says that they did something very interesting. They said that they raised their voices, cried out to the Lord, and God acted in favor of them. It is interesting because in the same book of Chronicles, specifically chapter 18 it says and that's and the children of Israel were subdued at this time and the children of Judah prevailed because they relied on the Lord God of their fathers in other words they knew perfectly well that if they cried out to the Lord with all of their hearts the Lord would listen to them and would help them in that terrible trial they found themselves in we have to be very clear, my dear brethren and friends, that if we cried out to the Lord with all of our hearts and with all of our soul, the God will also act in our favor. God has promised to fight our battles. The Lord our God has promised to be with us and in us all of the days of our lives until the end of the age. Which means that when we find ourselves in trouble, in difficult situations, financially speaking, or spiritually, physically, or in any other way, the Lord will respond to our cry and will act in our favor. That is why I always say and emphasize, let us not give room to that unnecessary whining, to doubt, to fear, to discouragement, because our Lord our God is almighty and he has all control. We are in a spiritual battle, speaking like that, and the enemy will launch his poison fire darts, but greater is he that is in us than he that is against us. Fear does not have to accompany with us to in, at any time of our lives, but rather trust, absolute faith, and complete in our God, knowing that everything is under his control. So my dear brethren, Abijah cried in the middle of the battle to the Lord, and the Lord answered, and it says that never Jeroboam bothered him. If we today, in the midst of our struggles, in the midst of our battles and trials, we cried out with faith to our God, the Lord will surprise us. Do not have it the slightest doubt, because our God has not changed. It doesn't matter if it was in the time of Abijah or Jeroboam or Moses 
or the apostles, it doesn't really matter. Our God has not changed and he's the same one today and yesterday and forever. Do not take your gaze off him and our trust of him. Let us full confidence that he will be in charge and take care of each and every one of our affairs. And as long as we are in order, in obedience, in holiness, the Lord will never allow trials to come to destroy us, but rather the opposite. When we cry out to the Lord in the midst of our anguish, He will respond. And we will learn lessons that are not learned reading a book or listening to a sermon, but leaving them firsthand. That is why gratitude, constant gratitude and constant thankfulness never complains, never regrets, because we're not doing anything with that. Always the Lord thank you on our lips from the bottom of our hearts thank you lord for what i have and for what i don't have for i don't understand and i don't understand but i know one thing that you are with me as a mighty giant and no one will be able to face me in all the days of my life so why don't we my dear brethren and friends if we present this day and this new day that just started asking your his blessing and protection let's pray to the lord Blessed Heavenly Father, thank you with all our hearts we give you in this moment because we know that you are with us. We see in your word that great men of God cried out to you in the middle of their pain, in the middle of their anguish, and they were heard. And you, Lord, did miracles, signs, and wonders in some occasions in favor of their lives. Today we cry out to that living God and powerful God that has promised to be with us every day until the end of the age. Keep us from all danger and all evil, of all snares of the evil one that sometimes we don't see them and we don't know them, but they're real. But even more real is your power in us. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we place our lives in your hands with thanksgiving, knowing that your protection is by our side. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, my dear brethren, may the Lord bless you. Let's enjoy your faith, enjoy of that fellowship that you are supposed to be maintaining with the Lord every day, where we do not address our prayers to men, to dead idols, but a living God that hears and that knows each and every one of our needs. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren. Let pray for this trip that we are about to embark in to these beautiful countries of Colombia and Ecuador, where we trust that the Lord will protect us and will use our lives so that many souls will come to the knowledge of the Lord and many brethren may also be renewed and blessed. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren.